So in the last video, uh, we had a look at mapping fields out and started to look at a few different field shapes. So um, we'll just have a quick recap on uh, field shapes uh, before we then move on to looking at field strength. Um, so here we've got some different field shapes. Now this is now in the context of um, electric fields, but don't let that put you off. Okay? You can spot a uniform field a mile off. Uh, because it's made up of straight field lines that are equally spaced. So here we've got a uniform electric field uh, between two charged plates, a uh, positive and uh, negative uh, plate. Now, we haven't talked a huge amount about electric fields, but you can imagine how this works. These field lines are mapping out the direction of the force acting on a test particle. I'll just draw this a different color so you can see it better. So if we had a positive test particle on a positive plate, we would experience a force towards a negative plate like that. Okay. Remember that for electric fields, the test particle by convention is positive. Uh, so uniform field, the strength of the field is the same everywhere within that field. So everywhere within this uniform field, the field strength is the same. Um, the other type of field we've seen already is a radial field. Now in this case we've got the field around a, a, a positively charged sphere. Now this looks really similar to the, the gravitational field around a, a sphere like the Earth, which is roughly spherical, except that the arrows are pointing the other direction. That's because this is positive we chose a positive test charge, then it would be repelled away from the sphere in the middle of the charged sphere. So these lines and the arrows show the direction of the force that would act on the positive test charge. And remember that for a radial field, the field is strongest where the field lines are closest together. That is near the surface of the object. The further you get away from the object, the more spaced out the field lines become the weaker the field gets. So we've got a uniform field, a radial field. Now not all objects are gonna gonna be either perfectly flat or perfectly spherical. So here we've just got a totally irregular object <coughs> uh, which also has a positive charge. Um, and you can also map out the field using a, a small positive test charge. And this is the shape we get. Now what can we say about this? Well you don't need to know how, uh, how this field was arrived at, but we can nonetheless use our ideas you know, from before to say that, okay, around here, near this pointy bit, the field is going to be very strong. Whereas around here, around this big rounded end here, the field is going to be much weaker. So the field is strong here and weak here. Um, you'll probably see something this shape uh, when we get the Van de Graaff generator out. Uh, later on. So, we've got different field shapes uh, and, and a totally irregular field at the bottom. So, on to the concept of field strength. Um, now, the field strength is the force per unit something where something is the thing that interacts with the field. So, what does that mean? Well, the gravitational field strength is defined as the force per unit mass. So that's the force per unit mass of a, of a test object, an object in a gravitational field. And the unit is newtons per kilogram. The electric field strength is the force per unit charge. So charge is the thing that interacts with the electric field. Mass is the thing that interacts with the gravitational field. So the electric field strength is the force per unit charge, and that's in newtons per coulomb. Newtons the unit of force per coulomb, the unit of charge. Oops, swap those around. Uh, now, something to note, uh, the symbol for electric field strength is capital E. The symbol for gravitational field strength is lower case G. That is something you have seen before, I think. Um, so, field strength is force per unit something, uh, where the something is the thing that interacts with the field. 
So, uh, well, let's have a, a, a look at this further then. Uh, if we wanted to measure gravitational field strength in this room, um, what could we do? Well, we could get a small test object of a known mass. So this object here uh, has a mass of 100 grams, which is 0.1 kilograms. Now that mass is very small in comparison to the mass of the Earth, which is good. We could then measure the gravitational force uh, acting on that mass by using a force meter. And if we hung the uh, mass from the force meter, we would measure that force. Now the field strength is the force divided by the mass, the force per unit mass. If we took some measurements and we measured a force of 1 newton for our mass of 0 0.1 kilograms, uh, that gives us a gravitational field strength of 10 newtons per kilogram, which is about right. Obviously, you should know that it's about 9.81 or something like that to, uh, to 3 sig fig. But this is the gravitational field strength, the strength of the gravitational field, uh, how much force acts on a unit mass in that field. So, we've now looked at field shapes in a bit more detail, and we've had uh, a brief introduction to field strength. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll look at potential, and then we'll look at trying to tie together the ideas of potential and field strength.